Hello and welcome back to another Macro Day right here on Scriptcase by Jamie. And again, we have another macro, of course. It's Macro Day. It's Friday. And today we are exploring the SC zip file macro. This macro is an essential tool for managing file compressions directly within your Scriptcase applications. Now, that may be whether you're archiving files, creating backups, or maybe just preparing downloads. And of course, the SC zip file macro, or SC underscore zip underscore file, makes it easy to bundle files and directories into a single zip file. So let's dive in and see how this macro works and how you can use it effectively within Scriptcase. And here we are within the Scriptcase environment. As always, before we dive into the macro itself, let's discuss the purpose a little, if you didn't get that already from the intro. So we are looking at the SC underscore zip file. So let me type that in there, SC underscore zip underscore file macro. That is the macro right there. It's pretty straightforward. Of course, we have some more content to add there. So don't, you know, don't go anywhere. We're not finished yet. And with this macro, you can compress files and also directories into a zip file. This a zip file is essentially a compressed archive where you have multiple files in one if that makes sense. And of course, the storage space is reduced because they are compressed. Now, this is pretty perfect for applications that need to offer file downloads, maybe handle backups, or maybe manage large data sets efficiently. And well, let's have a look at how to use it, shall we? So the SC zip file macro allows you to compress single files entire directories, or maybe a combination of both, if you like, into a single zip archive. And this facilitates easy storage or simple and easy and faster transfer. And of course, less storage space as well. So all of those are major benefits to you with this macro. And the syntax is pretty straightforward. We have it here and we can make a few adjustments here. And first of all, we may want to indicate the file or the, or the directory. Now, I am adding spaces in here, but um, in general, when you have your content, you will not want to add spaces, okay? So in that case, let me add maybe here an underscore in between each of these words, and that way, well, at least we will be correct okay and with that then we can add a comma here at the end here now the first indicator would be the file that we are wanting to compress the single file or maybe the directory and then with that we can then indicate the location and name of the zip file so for instance i could say the temp directory and then that would be then for instance the test.zip and then whatever files i add here would then be added to the temp directory within a test.zip archive and with that so let's just adjust maybe this for a path so here i would then maybe add a path here test and then say sample html and that would then compress the sample.html file into an archive. And well, if you want to compress the entire folder, you can just add the folder. And just like that, it will compress the entire folder for you, all of its contents in one compressed archive. Now that's pretty powerful, right? And of course, we can also compress multiple files. So here, for instance, if I change my option here, and here I will say, well, files, and then files here, well, that will become, well, an array. And with my array, I can then specify all of my files. So here I can say then files, and that will then equal here, well, whatever files I have that I want to compress. And of course, I can do that for all of the files I need. So then I'll just copy that a few times. And there we have. And with that, we can then 
archive all of the files that we have here. So for instance, I could say here, my test sample.html, let's include that one again. And then maybe I want a file from another folder and that would maybe be the sample folder. And let's call that one test.html. And of course we can continue on. And then here, maybe here we have a HTML folder and that is just a test.doc. And then there you go. We have then also a document added in there. Or maybe we have a docs folder and we have a text file, which is just called text. <laughs> oh, of course, this is my file. Let's give it a name, my file. Let's just call it my file. There we go. And then with that, we are compressing then four items or four files into a single compressed archive. And that is super powerful. We can apply that in any of our applications. So it is important, of course, to note that you can use this within the various events that are available within Scriptcase, and you can apply them within pretty much any application. Actually, this macro is pretty good one. And there are also other options. So maybe you want to maybe create a dynamic zip created maybe on, say, a user selection or something like that. In that case, again, you could use here an array and place the items selected by the user into the array and then add them here into the SC zip file macro. And just like that, well, we have an incredibly valuable macro for use within applications and it involves content management for those specific systems that you know crms or so on maybe you want to use those or e-commerce platforms where you maybe have digital downloads or any other scenario where you want to efficiently collect your data gather it into one space, compress it, saving more space, simplifying the download, the upload, or whatever you're going to do with those files. With that, well, it's pretty much it for the SC zip file macro. As you can see, it's a super powerful macro for managing file compressions within your script case applications, enhancing both the functionality as well as the user experience by, well, simplifying file handling tasks, right? As always, if you found this helpful, you know what to do. And if you didn't, well, you also know what to do. And of course, I hope I see you again next week, Friday, with another macro video. But before we leave, how do you manage your file downloads and backups within your applications? Do you maybe use the SC zip file macro already? Or maybe you use an alternative method. Of course, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to know how you manage multiple files, wherever you, you know, force your users to download them individually, or maybe you use the SC zip file macro to compress them all and give your users a better experience. Don't forget to let me know down below. And as always, I'll see you next week with another macro day on Macro Friday, right here at Scriptcase by Jamie.